Well, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to build another spinner. This one's another idea that I dreamed up. So uh, we'll start off here with our baseline with just a, a blank piece of paper here. I do have a little sketch of it. This is what it looks like. I kind of dreamed this up as I was uh, just thinking about making another one here. And it's going to it's going to be on a V. This one's going to differ from the other one a little bit. It's going to be kind of an art deco look to it. And in the middle here, instead of coming down to a point here, I'm going to make a circle in the middle here. And from that circle, we're going to hang a a, a crystal ball from that. So that's that's the thought anyway. So we'll go ahead and uh, get started and draw this up. I'll show you how we're going to do it. We're going to start right here at the bottom. And we're going to go on to 45 here. Then we'll come in here and we'll draw our circle in here. And then we'll put the rest of this together here. So I've kind of got some numbers I threw in here. Uh, we may change that as we go along. I'll sketch this out kind of light and uh, when I get it uh, where we want it, uh, we'll go ahead and uh, put together a, uh, a piece of carbon paper and a piece of pattern paper and we'll go ahead and we'll make our pattern for it. So let's start right down here at the bottom and we'll go ahead and we'll get our T-square in here. And we're going to start right here at this point right here. And if you've watched any of my other videos, you notice I use a uh, a ruler that has uh, a, a series of holes across the edge of it. This is I use this as a compass right here. It has a pivot point. So this will be our pivot point right here. My drawing board has a small hole in it. After I put my sheet on it, I just go on the backside and push it through so we know where to start. So this is our starting point right here. So we're going to start right here. We're just going to go with a baseline across here. And we'll go here with an up line here. Well, that's going to not work too good. Let's go here. That'll give us our up line here. Here again, I'm going to draw these in kind of light. And from there, we'll go ahead and we'll take our 45 degree triangle. We'll set it in here and make sure this is down and flat. Put your triangle in here. We're going to come up the center here. Here again, I don't know how long this is going to be, so we'll draw this fairly long. As I said before, this is just something I kind of dreamed up as I'm thinking about how to do this. And so uh, that's where we're going to work from right there. All right. So now we're going to take our ruler here. And we're going to take it. We're going to put in a push pin here. And we're going to take and we're going to make our circle. And our circle is going to be three inches total, the, round, the circle round. So that means that we need to be out here one and a half inches. So here's here's the uh, one inch mark. This would be right here, would be one and a half. We can start right here on our line right here. And we'll just take it and we'll make our circle right here. So that area there is going to be left open here. So we'll we'll when we get our form made up, we'll we'll put a something in here to uh, make that uh, open for us. And then to move up here, uh, I've got, I'm thinking about two and three quarter inches. So let's, let's do that. Let's come up here. Two and three quarter inches would be right about there. And that's where we're going to have our cross piece come across here. And here again, I'm going to draw this light because I don't know exactly what I'm going to do with it. Unlike some of the other ones we did where we where we ran the the up uh, kind of the kite looking effect up here. We're going to start right down here and we're going to do that with our 30 60 degree triangle and we're going to do it on the 60 degrees. I'm going to just bring this in here like this and I'm going to come right in here right here. Here again, I'm going to just go an up line. And we're going to go in here again with an up line. And then across the top, uh, I think I'm going to make that like four and three quarter high. So let's go up here to four and three quarter right there. I'll mark that. And to bring this back down here, I'm going to use this side of the ruler, which is 30 degrees. 
So I'm going to bring my T-square down, and I'm going to take and put it in here like this. Just like that. Come up. And this will create the top of our spinner. But that's a really big kite by itself. I think we're going to do is come back in here and we're going to split this up with a couple more. And I think we're going to do these at about an inch and an eighth or so. Just mark that inch and an eighth. And an inch and an eighth right here. So we'll slide this up like this. We'll just line it up here. Bring this back down, get it on your point. All right. So we don't need the, we don't need this line right here. We don't need that line right there. This is going to quit there. So as you can see, this is a pretty easy design. It's a kind of an Art Deco look to it. Uh, right here, we, we, won't, we won't have this center line in here, so we'll get, we can get, take it out here. That was going to be gone, and this is going to be gone. So that's going to be our unit. We'll make six of these. This one here will be the main one. We're going to have a hanger right here. And because we're going to hang the crystal ball in the bottom here, we're going to put a hanger right here. And when these all go together, they will form a circle in the middle. Uh, so that's my theory anyway. We'll see if it, if it works out. So we're going to have some pieces here. We're going to have a, a, about uh, four, five, six, about six pieces here. So since that's, our, that's the way the drawing's going to look, that's how the project's going to look, we're going to have a... Uh, We'll go ahead and make a little pattern real quick here, and I'll show you how we're going to do that. We're going to take a uh, just a plain manila folder here. We're going to set it underneath here. We're going to take a couple pieces of masking tape. Tape this down. Just like that. We're going to use a piece of carbon paper, carbon side down. Bring this back down, create like a sandwich here, tape it down. And now what we're going to do, we're going to push down harder and we'll come back and we'll make this into an into a actual pattern. So first thing we're going to do, we're going to start right here. We'll put our, our ruler back in here. Sometimes this is a little tricky to get lined up here. Okay, so we're going to go right here. We'll darken that up just a little bit. And we'll take that back off. And then we're going to just take a regular ruler here. And we're just going to set it right here on our line. Now that's not going to come down here now. Now it's going to go right from here to here. Right from here to here. This is going to come across here, and it's going to stop right here. Okay, and then we get our 30-60 triangle back out, and we're going to be up here. We're going to come right to here. Make sure you got everybody lined up good. Draw that up here. Come back down. We'll use the 60 degree here. Right here. That's going to come all the way down to our inside of my circle. That's going to go up here. And this is going to go up here. 
Like I said in the other video too, you can design anything you want to put in these things. You have to have two 90 degree angles. This will be our angles for our 90 degrees. They're going to be fairly short, but they should work out fine for us. And we'll come in here, we'll add these last two pieces here. Now there's not that many pieces to this project, but we could number them if you'd like. And so I'll go ahead and just put some numbers on them. All right. So we'll start right here. This will be number one. This could be two, number three, number four, and number five. So we'll cut those out and then we'll get ready to put this together. Like I say, it's kind of an art deco look to it. We're going to use kind of a gold colored rippled glass right in here. Uh, these are going to be kind of a bright green with a real bright orange in the middle here. And then like, like I said before, the crystal ball will be hanging here in the middle. So pull this back away. Here's our pattern now. So we'll go ahead and we'll cut that out. So we'll use that to, to create our pieces, especially right in here. This one here, I'll take and darken this in with a Sharpie fine point pin. And we'll mount this on our build board. And then we'll go ahead and we'll, we'll actually build our project right on here. So uh, we'll be back in a minute. I'll get that marked up and we'll get our form set in here. And uh, we'll get ready to put some lead and put some pieces in here. Uh, since this is a leaded project and we've got the lead going to come down through here, that creates a little bit of a problem right here for the lead because uh, there's no way to, for this piece here to go in here. And I'll show you a little trick we're going to do to make that line up so it works out. So we'll be back in a minute. I'll get this darkened up and uh, we'll get it on our work board and we'll get ready to put it together. All right, well, we're back. we got our pattern all marked up here. I noticed on the first clip here, I... Uh, said we were going to have like six, five or six parts on here. We are going to, we actually have five. And down here on the number one here, I actually marked mark that number two. So I uh, wanted to straighten that up a little bit. Also, I changed the design here a little bit. I, uh, I broadened the uh, bottoms of these uh, on these outside edges here for a little bit more uh, rigidity right through here. Uh, because the fact that this is going to be the, you know, primary focal point for the strength on the project. So we've got our uh, two outside pieces here basically they're the same they're exactly the same so uh, if you just wanted to use one of these you could make cut your piece here and then turn it over and cut a piece here to make the same thing same way with these here's where i added the the, uh, the rigidity right here by making this a little bit square it's going to solder in here instead of having all of these come down to a point so that's the area that we we've changed so this comes down here and comes out to about here I'll mark that with a different color on here so it doesn't get too confusing. So anyway, the next thing we're going to do is uh, we'll get some form wood. We'll come in here and we'll set a form in here. And then I'm going to make a, a little piece of corner that goes in here. I'm going to make it out of a piece of uh, four millimeter glass. Uh, then I can, for when, after I make it, I'll take and I'll grind out a little area here so that we can get our hanger in here. We have a little tiny hanger here and this is the one we're going to hang it from right here so when we get uh, we get that far along uh, i'll come back on and we'll get ready to put this together all right well, we're back so we're going to get ready we're going to put our little form in here so uh, i'm just going to use this small uh, wood that i use on all the little form projects and uh, so it's going to go in here we're just going to we're going to just free freehand it right in here like this up against our outside of our line here and I'm just going to use it. I'm just going to pin it. I'm not going to nail it down like we've done them, some of the other ones. So in case we need to move it, I do have a, a little socket wrench here that goes on here. And I can just push this down nice and tight. And I've got one here we'll set in here. And to make sure that that's a 45, we'll get our 45 degree triangle here. And we can drop that in here like this. And that gives us make sure that's 45 there so we don't we don't get started crooked because we want these to all be as close to the same as they can possibly be so we'll push this down like that make sure it's nice and square
Okay, so that'll be that'll get us started here. Now in here, this is where I'm going to cut a piece of glass to go in here. I'm using glass because I can form it to, uh, to, to make the contour right here. And I've already done that. Here's what it looks like. So I've just taken, I took it on a, the 45, then I cut the arch on it. And then right here, I ground out an area for, so we can get our hanger in here. And that's going to go in here like this. That's going to go just like that. And uh, what I'm going to do with that is I'm just going to stick it down with some two-sided tape right here. And then from there, we'll get ready. We'll, build, we'll put our first pieces of came in here and we'll go from there. So uh, let me get my tape out and uh, I'll be back. We'll glue that down and we'll start to make the, uh, the lead came for this. So we'll be right back. Okay, so I got our little glass uh, piece taped down right here now. So now we're going to start with this radius right here. And uh, as you've seen in some of my other videos, I use some kind of a jig or, or a format to create those. What we're going to use today, we're going to use a little three inch uh, flower pot. And what we're going to do, we're going to take our, our U came and we're going to take and stick it on here like this. Gonna take our U came. This is the one that we're going to go around the whole outside edges with it. I'll just come in here and trim this off straight. And we're going to take this and we're going to put it right here on the edge. And I'm just going to take and bring it around. And I'm going to come all the way around, even though we don't need all of this, because we can make two or three out of this by getting it over here like this. So then this is going to fit right in here like this. Just pull it around. We'll take and we'll mark it. Take your lead shears or dikes and cut it right here. That's a little bit too long. Just take a little trim off of it. Still a little bit too long. There's what we want right there. Here we're just going to take and we're going to cut a shallow cut on it right here not quite a 45 just a probably maybe about a 30 degree cut it's going to go in there like that and then we're going to use a couple pieces to go in here we'll cut a matching come down there like that take a get us a pin here and we'll mark this And we'll do the same thing here with this. Put it down just like that. I'm going to leave these long right now until we find out exactly where this is going to fit with the, when we cut the piece of glass to go in here. So we'll just leave these long for right now. So that gets us started. Uh, we're going to have the hanger right here in the center. And to do that, we're going to use a little 1 16th by 3 quarter inch long uh, cotter pin. It's a, a steel cotter pin, zinc plated. It's the same type of cotter pin as we use up here, but it's smaller. So we'll use that to do uh, that. Uh, this will be the only one that has the hangers on it. The other five that we make will be exactly like this, except no hangers at all. So that's going to get the start of our circle here. Uh, and then from here... We're going to go ahead and we'll cut the glass and we'll build on up. So we'll cut these two pieces of glass to start with. They're going to be in this kind of a ripply gold color. I'll show it to you. Uh, it's going to be this one right here. This will be the upside on it. So those will be in here. This is going to be a bright green and this is going to be orange. So it's going to be a very disco looking uh, spinner. And then it's going to here, it's going to have the... Uh, or a crystal ball in it. But I'll go offline, I'll get my drill out, and we'll get ready, we'll drill a hole in here, and then we're gonna put the uh, cotter pin through here, and I'll uh, show you how to make the uh, the hanger from the upside down uh, portion of this. So we'll be back in a second. All right, we're back here, we got our little glass piece put in here, which fills in for it, and I've marked our curved piece of U-came, 
where we want to put our hanger right here. So I'm going to take a 16th inch drill. I'm going to drill right here. And then I'm going to elongate that just big enough to accept the loop part of this cotter pin right here, this little tiny one. And you've noticed here I bent these legs backwards around to follow the inside curve of our u came. Uh, you probably won't even have to solder this because these legs here are going to be underneath here and uh, they won't let that pull out of there. But anyway, so we're just going to take this and we're going to drill a hole right now. Come over here, get in the way here. I'm going to drill a hole right here where I got it marked. Try to keep it in the center if you can. And because the lead is soft, you can kind of just move this drill up and down just a little bit to get it. So we'll just open this up just a little bit more. Get it to push through here. Here it comes. Right there. See it just starting to come through here. You can take and hook it with your pin. Pull it through. So then, so now these legs are laying on underneath here on there. So that's, that's going to be our hanger right here. So it goes in there like this. So this piece is going to go in here just like this. And then we've got our little down pieces here. This one's going to go here. This one's going to go here. And then our two side pieces are going to go here. To fit in here like that. This side piece fits in there like that. And that's going to hold right there. It's going to hold our our center piece right here. Now, from here, we're going to we're going to put a piece of U came. It's going to come down here on each side, and then we're going to put our glass in here. But before we do this, we need to cut the back side out of this U came to create a shelf to hold this piece right here. And I'll show you how to do that in a second. But first we're going to cut these two pieces here and put them down in here, glass right against the glass. So we'll just take a couple pieces of old u came, stick them in here to hold that. Get it all in here and get it down here to hold it tight. Okay, that's perfect. So this this piece here is going to go in here like this. So that'll end up in there like that. This piece here is going to end up here like this. And then our middle piece will fit in here like this. So anyway, I'll go offline and cut a couple of pieces of, of uh, side glass. This is going to be the green. And from there, we'll come back in. We're going to set it. We're going to set it right against the gold glass, and then we're going to run our U came down, and we're going to cut the back out of the U came so that it can slide over here. So I'll show you how we're going to do that in a second. So we'll be back in a minute. All right, we're back. I got our two green down pieces cut right here, so they're going to go right in here. So we're just going to insert them here, and they go right there. They're going to go right up against this piece of glass right here. Make sure it's down in the uh, in the U came here in the front where you want it. Uh, you can take and put a little piece of U came across the top here if you think it's going to get away from you. Push that in there, and you can also do it here if you want to. You can put one here just to push it up there against it, so it doesn't move on you. We're going to do the same thing over here. We're going to move that down and put it in here. Just like that. 
take our old piece of you came here use it to keep it against our glass we put it against the glass so that it doesn't chip it and we'll set another piece in here just to hold this up flush like that now in here is where our piece of you came is going to run down but we have a problem in the fact that how are we going to get this in here because the glass is right against the glass so what we're going to do this piece is going to go right in here you notice i marked it right here and inside here i marked see if i can get it to show i marked a little dot the dot now is where that ends right here where this piece ends so i'm going to take an old pair of pattern shears these are really old these are for cutting lead or, or for cutting patterns for when you're using lead and i'm going to set this right in here like this and I'm going to just take it and I'm going to run this down until it gets to the dot on my piece of U came. After I get it down there, I'm just going to open it back up. I'm going to take a screwdriver and I'm going to push it in here and I'm going to push this open and take out my piece of U came. Then I can take and break off that piece we took out of here. Then just take and spread it open here just a little bit. Take your dikes and you can trim off the, the little bit of edge here. Just like that. If you got a little bit over here, you can do that too. So this is kind of cheating, but what it does, it gives you a, a lip for that gold glass to sit on otherwise it's not going to have anything to sit on and it would eventually fall out of there so we don't want that to happen so the back that we're cutting out of here creates about a it's not quite a sixteenth of an inch but it's a uh, it creates a lip right here take your two pieces now and pull them back straight if you want to dress that up a little bit if you've got a file that's about an eighth of an inch uh, wide you can stick it in there or if you've got an old emery board like this one just take and stick it in here and just take your cane and just slide it like that add some pressure to it take and straighten these back up Just like that. Get it nice and straight now. If you have a little bit that's hanging back here like that, just take your dikes and just cut that back off here. Looks like that. That looks pretty good. So this piece here now is going to go in here just like this. Get these little chips out of here. It's going to go in. And it's going to come all the way down like that. Move this over just a little bit. And it's going to sit in there just like that. And here's where it's going to solder right here. Now, if you, if you can take and pin it here a couple times. If you uh, are concerned about this little hump right here, don't worry about it because that's where we're going to solder there and it'll disappear on you. So I already cut the other side here. Here it is again, this one right here. That's going to go in here. Probably should have left that in there so it doesn't so it doesn't move away on me. There it goes. Goes just like that. Finishes off really nice. Put a couple more pins in here. Just like that. Then we're going to take this one out. 
and we're going to put a side piece in here. And the side piece here, we're going to let it stick out long here because we're going to trim it and pull it back. We want to make sure this is a nice fit right there. That looks pretty good right there. So we'll just go ahead and we'll pin that back up tight. We'll do the same thing over here. You notice that the lead's cut on an angle back. That way it'll made up. See, that's not quite enough. This little gap that you see right in here, uh, when you solder that, it'll solder across the top and it's going to have an indentation there. So take your time and uh, take your dikes and put it on a bigger, a bigger angle and pull it back so that when that fits in there, it slides in tight. That still could go just a little bit more. Still a little bit more. There we go. See, it's nice and tight right here now. You want those joints nice and tight. First of all, it makes the job have more rigidity to it. Also, it gives you a better chance when you solder to just put a nice little solder bead here. You don't have a big goopy mess on your hands. Okay, so now, in order to get this last piece in here, uh, we're going to use some H cam now to run up down. That's the only two pieces that are going to be H cam. All the rest of the cam is U cam. And like I said, we're going to leave these long. We'll cut them off and we'll fold them back under here so that this, this will make a nice point here. Same thing we're going to do with these up here. So uh, let me get a piece of uh, H cam and uh, we'll come back and we'll uh, cut a couple pieces to go in there. And then we'll cut this piece here. And I'll show you how to put that back in. So I'll cut a couple pieces of, of H came to go in here. They'll come down here. They're going to marry together right here. And they'll go back out. They'll quit right just enough room so that this U came goes across here. will butt up against it. So I'll be back in a second. I'll get those cut up. And I'll also cut up our center piece. And then we'll be ready to go. So I'll be back. Okay, so we're back here. We got the two uh, pieces of H came cut here now. They intersect right here. So uh, when we solder them, oops, don't do that. Push that up over the top of here. I don't want that. There we go. So when we solder that, we'll just solder this together as a one unit here. So now the, the uh, final piece goes in here and it's going to slide right down inside here. Pushes in there tight. And now we need to make a piece of you came to go across the top of this and we're going to put our our uh, hanger in here and our hanger here again now we're going to use the bigger cotter pin this one's three thirty seconds inch and a half long it's a uh, steel zinc plated so the way that works it will do it just like uh, we did down here except in this case we're going to just take it with our long nose pliers here we're going to set it in here and this is the easy one to do because it's going to be on the outside. It's going to bring that out about that far. If you watch any of my videos, you see I use these hangers for everything. They're hidden underneath the cam so you don't see them. It's going to fit in here like this. So you can see that's a little bit too wiggly. So just take your fingers and just close this up just a little bit. You want it to fit nice and snug. Close it up just a tad too much. Pull these out of the way. That's pretty perfect right there. Now across the top here, we're going to take our U came and we're going to take and cut it square here. And remember, it's going to be down here. So Bring it up here, right to the point right here. And when you when you're cutting this, this is this is a pretty shallow cut, so don't go don't get carried away and cut it too too much. Just maybe just a little bit like this. 
Right now, they take your cotter pin out, pull this over, set it in here. That's a little bit too long there. We want we want this piece here to split right at the middle here. So when you just take and trim off the uh, back side of it just a little bit. That looks pretty good right there. So now we're just taking pin this real quick. So now we need to make another one on this side. So we're going to cut that off. Come up here. See the end right here? So we know that there needs to be cut right about there. So we're just taking trim it. Here again, shallow cut, not too deep. Set this in here. That's going to look good right there. So now, to get this to come out of here, we're going to take this and we're going to cut a little V in here. Just like that. So it has a little V mark in the in the U came. This side here, we're going to do the same thing. Now we're going to set this in here. Now we're going to take our cotter pin and we're going to just take and slide it down in between the came and the glass. Goes down there just like that. And this one here, take it with the, the slot in it and push it over into that. Now that one's a little bit short. See, I want, to, I want this to really fit up there tight. So I'm going to make one just a little bit longer than this one. So uh, this is the time to, to make, the, make your adjustments now. Don't, uh, don't say, ah, that's probably going to be all right. And then when you start to solder it, you end up with a problem with, the, with a big gap or something in it. So... Uh, Try to fix any areas that you think might be a problem before you get get there. Uh, makes the job just a little bit nicer looking. There we go. That's a little bit tighter. I like that one better. So we'll take and pin that. Pin that. Okay, so we'll get the fire up the soldering iron and we'll go ahead and we'll solder this one up. We'll have the first panel done. We've got our hanger to hang our project. We've got our little tiny hanger down here, which will hang our crystal ball. Uh, we've got a good good fit here. That looks good. This is nice and tight. So uh, this ought to solder up really nice and it'll have a nice uh, uh, about a, a rigidity to it because it's going to have some pieces all coming down here to this base. So uh, uh, we'll be back in a minute. We'll get the soldering iron fired up and we'll get this soldered up and then we'll show you how we're going to finish off the edges. We'll have one panel done and we'll get ready to make the other five. Then we'll put it all together. All right, well, we're back. We're ready to solder this up now. So uh, I'll go ahead and show you a real quick how we do that. If you've watched my videos before, you notice I use a little stainless steel brush here. And we kind of just knock down any oxidation off of the uh, lead. Just so shine it up a little bit. Just get the every little joint shined up. I'm using a classic 100 liquid uh, flux. This flux everybody up. And then I'm using a 6040 solder to solder it with. So just taking 10 year iron just a little bit. You can start anywhere you want to here. We can start, we'll start right here. Just put a, about a 20 16th and the eighth of an inch bead right off, right, right off the, right off the uh, end of your solder. It's about all you need on here. Okay, oak. So these are pretty quick to make. So uh, after I get this one done, I'll get the edges uh, trimmed off and I'll show you how to do that. And then what we'll do is I'll go offline. I'll make the other five 
they'll be just like this one except they won't have any they won't have any hangers on them and then when we come back we'll put it together and we'll be done with it so then we'll take and we'll hang our crystal ball in the middle of it and it should make a really nice looking spinner okay so i got that all done so we're going to pull these out but before i take the rest of these apart i'm going to take a couple little pieces of my form wood And since we know the angle of these right now, I'm going to set this in here and I'm going to pick and I'm going to uh, just pin them here so that they'll all be the same. There we go. All right. So I'm going to go offline real quick i'll turn this over and solder the other side then when i come back we'll show you how we're going to finish up these edges and then we'll be done with that first one okay so we're back we've got uh, all of our solder joints now so that looks nice and clean so now here on the edges here we're going to take this and we're come back here about a little over a quarter of an inch and we're going to cut this off and we're just going to take this right here and we're going to cut it up here like this. And then we're going to cut it into a point. Then I'm going to take this point and I'm going to roll it over into this opening right here. And I'll just do it on the edge of my work table here. So now it's closed over into here. So if I leave this point a little bit longer, it'll close that up even more. So it just makes it a little bit easier to solder. So we'll do one more here. Let's make this one here about that long. Just cut it on the edge. Come here and cut the point open. Cut the area out. Take it on the edge of your workbench and just bend this back over into it. See, by leaving that just a little bit longer, you notice it closes it up even any a little bit more. So up to here, we're going to do the same thing. About a quarter of an inch. Cut it. Cut it to a point. Bend it over on the edge of your workbench. Closes it up. And we'll go ahead and do this last one right here. That just helps you when you get ready to solder those shut so that you don't have such a big gaping hole to take care of. I'll just fold that one over on the corner too. So we've got them all taken care of now. So this is the area that we closed up right here. So now I'm going to just take my flux. I'm going to flux that. We'll flux around our hanger. Do here. Where these two, where these intersect right here, we're going to take and flux these also. And we're going to flux right here, 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 and here. Um, we can solder this in here if we want to. We could flux it. It's, uh, it's permanent anyway because anyway, the legs are running back underneath there. But uh, we'll just take and put a little bit of solder on it just to, uh, just to hold it. So uh, if you watch my other videos, you notice that I'm using the the uh, drill vise here to hold this so I can uh, so I can solder these so uh, we'll just set it in here hopefully you can see this let me move the camera here just a little bit here we'll get it over here all right so I'm just going to take my iron and I'm just going to hold it on its edge and just hold this right here and I'm just going to fill that up just a little bit then I'm going to take that on an 80 grit sandpaper and sand it down smooth. Here we're just going to put this in here and just let it work its way right off. This one down here, uh, take and set your iron on point. Just set it in here and just let it solder, just like that. 
that fills up the, any gap in there. Also, it helps strengthen this piece right here by hooking it together there. We we'll turn it around. Take and fill this one up here real quick. And we'll take and finish soldering off our hanger. Okay, and then we'll do the same thing here. Just take and set your iron on point. There it goes. Okay, we're going to take this one out, and then we've got this one right here we're going to fill. When you're filling these, try to keep this kind of uh, so it's flat. Uh, it makes it a little bit easier for you to, to uh, fill it. If you don't have a drill vise, you can use a couple pieces of 2 by 4 or some something just to hold it up straight for you. Got one more right here we're going to fill up. What we're doing here, we're just filling all, all the open areas. What that'll do for us is that will... Uh, help us finish the product off so it looks nice and sharp and clean. Uh, you could just go ahead and just fill these up and just leave them just like this. Uh, just doesn't look quite as nice as when it's finished all together. Now our little tiny hanger here, if we want to, we can take and put a little bit of solder on it. Doesn't really need it, but uh, we'll take and we'll take and put it right here, right here on the edge, right here. I'm just going to put just a little bit on it. Just like that, just to hold it. Okay, so I'm going to go offline. I'll finish up all of these edges for us now. That'll, so we'll, they don't they don't look really bad just like they are here. But uh, we could, uh, we'll just take and we'll smooth them out a little bit, and then we'll be uh, able to, uh, to finish this one off. Then I'll go offline, and I'll make the rest of them, then we'll come back and we'll put it together. So uh, I'll be back in just a few minutes. All right, we're back. So we got all our ends finished off here now. So you can see I just rolled them over and taken chamfered them just a little bit so they make nice smooth corners. That way nobody gets hooked on it when it's hanging outside and they happen to bump into it. So it uh, came out real nice for us. Here's our main hanger here for the uh, to hang the whole spinner. And here's our little one here that we're going to use to uh, hang our crystal ball in the middle of it. So uh, I think it's going to come out nice for us. Uh, here's both sides of it. So it's all finished uh, each side. And uh, so when I come back, I'll have all of them the pieces made. And uh, then we'll get together uh, to put them together in sets of two. And then from sets of two, we'll go ahead and we'll put it on our uh, a big jig and we'll make it into, this, into the final spinner. So anyway, this is uh, how the project's going to look. This is the colors of it. It's a very Art Deco looking. Uh, kind of looks like the uh, marquee for a theater of some kind. So uh, just another idea that I came up with. So I hope you guys are following along and uh, give this one a try. We'll be back in a little while. All right, well, we're back. As you can see, we've got all six panels made up now. So now we're going to take them and we're going to put them on a little jig that I made. I'll show you the jig when we uh, get ready to go here. Uh, it just sets the uh, angle for the came so that they, they'll they mate together. And uh, we'll put these in sets of two. And from there, we'll go ahead and we'll put them onto the bigger jig and we'll actually solder them together to make the spinner. So I'll be back in just a second. We'll get the uh, the jig set up to put these into groups of two. And uh, then uh, we'll uh, solder them up and then we'll get ready to go to finish the project. All right, we're back. I got my lovely wife to come out and help me with this a little bit. So this is an interesting one to solder together because it doesn't really have a 90 degree square. It has these two angles here, which makes 90 degrees, but it has no center in here. So for, for this is the, the uh, first piece that will go in here. It's going to go in here like this. And it touches here and here which gives us the effect of being a 90 degree square. And now this one here that has our hanger on it, it's going to go in here, but it has nothing to go up against. So you have to align this one up 
by the inner circle right here. So it makes it a little bit trickier. But before we start to solder it, let's get us a couple pins. And we're going to pin this one down so it doesn't move. We want it right tight up against there. So we just go just exactly like that. And then we're going to set this one in here. And I'm going to line it up so that I have my points in my circle right where I want it. I'm going to push it down tight. Just going to give it a little flux. I'm just going to tack solder these right now. So just put a little solder on your iron. Make sure you got it lined up where you want it. Hold it down tight. Just tack it in here. We'll get it a little bit more than that. There we go. Just like that. So now I'll take these out. And that makes us one set here. And we want it to be nice and clean through the, uh, the seam right here. So it's one set there. So now we'll take this next set here. We'll take and set it in here. I'll take and pin it back again so it doesn't move on us. Set this down. Make sure it's lined up where we want it. Give it a little flux. Take and we'll tin our iron. Check it again. Make sure it's what you want. Sod it right there. And we'll do the third one. Make sure you got the right areas lined up here. What I'm looking for right here is if you look real close, I've taken, I've sanded this down here to, to take care of any high spots on here. It's what I want to be sure that I've got them going the right direction so that you don't have any big gap in here. All right, we'll tack this last one. Just like that. So now we've got our three sets all ready to go. So uh, we'll uh, go offline. We'll take this, uh, take this jig out and I'll go ahead and I'll put my little clamps on here and solder these back together tight. Uh, with, uh, we'll, solder, we'll solder here on this joint right here and this joint down here. And uh, then what we'll do is we'll put them on the bigger jig and we'll put them all together. So uh, thank my loveliest wife. Thank you, wife. You're welcome. <laughs> okay, and uh, we'll be back to put these all together. Thank you. All right, well, we're back. We got uh, all three sets now uh, soldered up to make a set of two. So we've got them soldered inside here now. So I spot soldered here, and then I came back and uh, soldered them in tight here. So they're all ready to go. So now we're going to bring in our, uh, our big jig, and uh, that's this one here. It's just made out of a bunch of old two-by-fours. But it's got a set on an angle here so that you can take your pieces and we can set them down on here. And if you notice right here, I've added a little lip right here, which compensates for the thickness of the U came on the outside edges. So that sits in there just like that. And then the next one will sit down here and it'll go like this. And it'll come in here and it will sit in here like this. And this one here will go here and set in here like this. 
But before we before we solder those, this edge right here, right here where I'm looking at, let me hold that up a little bit. This edge right here where I'm looking at it right here, I'm going to take this because of the solder joints here, and I'm going to put this on an 80 grit sandpaper, and I'm going to knock that down just a little bit. I'll do the same thing here. So uh, I'll be right back, and I'll show you what, what we're going to do with that so, so that these two will slide together, because otherwise where the solder is at, It'll make a little bubble, and these will have a big gap in between when you when you solder these two together. So I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. So anyway, here's the area that I've taken sanded down on a little bit of an angle here. So we'll put this one back in here, just like that. This one here goes over here, and this one goes right here. Here again, I've sanded that area back, so when these come together, now right here, I'm going to push this in real tight. And I'm going to take and put a couple pins in here so it doesn't move on me. Right here is the area that we're looking at. We want to be sure that these two areas are nice and tight. And they also want to make sure that this circle part of this is lined up right there. So I'm going to tack solder this right here on the bottom part only just really light so if i need to adjust it at all uh it won't be too tight and i won't be able to move it so i'm just going to tack solder that just a little bit so i'm going to push that down just like that we'll worry about soldering this back here after we get everybody together now over here I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to push this one in here, just like that. Line up these inside edges. And this area right here is pretty critical. These two areas right here. So we'll take and we're going to adjust those uh, when I get ready to solder those. So I'm going to push this in nice and tight. Get a couple more pins to hold that. So by pinning it like this, it helps hold it in place. Here again now, I'm going to just tack solder on the inside right here. Whoops, that's not going to work too good. I got this down below my, my area. Here we go. Good thing I saw that. There we go. That wouldn't have been a good, that wouldn't have been a good demonstration there. So when you're working on these, just don't get in a big hurry like I did there and have a creative problem for yourself. So we want to make sure these line up there, make sure that's on the little block right here. Just right here, it's on the, it's on the block. Here again, we're just going to tack solder this. Just like that. Okay, now on some other uh, videos you may have watched, uh, they take and they solder this one here, this one right here, they solder this one up and down, which is pretty difficult to do. So what we're going to do, we're going to take this out and we're going to take it and we're going to turn it around so that we now have this one right here. Get it set in here. This one right here now is the one that we're going to do our adjustment on right there. And we're going to, here again, we're going to line that up right there. And we're going to take and we're going to tack this. Right there. We're taking, we're going to flex it just a little bit. I'm taking with tin or iron. I'm going to press this down and I'm going to solder that right there. Okay, now if you watch the other videos where I put these together, now we've got this all tack soldered together. It's a little bit wiggly right now, but what we're going to do is we're going to go on the other side and we're going to these little clips I've made. They're from old-fashioned paper clips. 
Uh, when you buy them, this this area right here where I've got it right here is turned is rolled over like here. I've taken rolled it back over so it makes like little fingers here. And what they're going to do here is like right here. See how these two are separated? These two are right separated right here. We're going to take this on the back side. We're going to pull it together. And we're going to put these clips right here in between the glass and the cane. Now, if you don't want to make any little clips like this, you can hold this. You notice I've got a glove on here. You can hold this shut by hand and solder those. See here, here's another gap that we'll pull together when we get it ready to solder. And this will be the last one over here. So anyway, we're going to turn this over. I've got a little box here we'll set this on. This gives us our solder area right here. So take and flex it up, and we'll get ready. We'll solder right down the middle here. You don't need a whole lot of solder because you've got solder on both sides of the panel from when you put them together. So just put it in here and let it flow so it gives you a nice little bead right there. I need a little bit more than that. There you go. And we'll come down to the bottom here and finish this one off just a little bit more. There we go. Just like that. So now we'll take our clips off. And this is the area we're looking for right here. We want this to be nice and clean in here. We don't want to have a bunch of solder coming through it. Okay, so we'll go over to this one here, right here. We'll take it, put it together here, here again. We'll put our clips in here. Pull this down and tighten it up. Flip those back. Turn it around. Take it, flex it up. Give it a little dose of solder there. And we can take our clips off. And we've got one more side to do, we'll do real quick. So that gives us a nice clean area here again. And this is the last one right here. As you can see right now, it's separated here at the top. But we're going to take and put our clips in here. And we'll pull that shut right there. Okay, so we're going to tighten that up. We'll pull it over. And we'll take and we'll solder that up. There we go. A little bit more right here. Yeah, we'll put us do the bottom one here just a little bit more. There we go. Okay, so there's our project. We got it all soldered together now. So here's our circle in the middle here. So our crystal ball will hang from this hanger right here, and uh, we'll put our we'll put a chain and a spinner on here. And uh, we'll take it outside and uh, let it turn around in the breeze. If it doesn't turn in the breeze, I have a mechanical spinner. We'll put it on so we can take a look at it. And uh, it came out very nice for us. Uh, I don't know if I'll pantene this one or not. I think I'll just take and clean it up really good. So uh, we'll be back in a, in a few minutes and uh, we'll have a chain on it. And we'll get ready to uh, show you how to, we're going to put the ball on it. And uh, we'll be ready to finish the project up. We'll take it outside and... Uh, and show you how it looks. So we'll be back in a minute. All right, we're back. We got it all cleaned up now, so you can see how nice it came out. So uh, I said earlier that uh, I wasn't going to pantene this one, so I think I'll just leave it uh, plain lead. It'll it'll kind of oxidize to kind of a gray. So uh, now the next trick is to put the crystal ball in here. This is the crystal ball we're going to use right here. It's two inches in diameter, 50 millimeters. 
and I put a real small split ring in here. So in the split ring, I've taken and cut one of the coils off of it so that it's so it's a little more pliable. And I have a a little tool that I have right here. I'm just going to spread this open. Get this around here. This may be a little hard to do with the camera. I'm going to spread that open. And I'm going to put it over in through the loop. Maybe a little bit hard to see here, but I, I put one of the one edge of the uh, split ring over the loop. Now I'm going to take my long nose pliers here, and I'm just going to turn it around until it closes off, just like that. And where the split ring comes together, I'm going to turn it around and put it inside the uh, the crystal ball, so you will never see it, just like that. So now we've got our crystal ball hanging in the middle of our project. So the next thing we need to do, we need to put a chain on it to hang it. So we're going to take and we're using a, a 16 gauge jack chain. This one happens to have a three quarter inch uh, split ring on the one end of it. I've got a stainless steel ball bearing swivel on the end here. I like this one better than the standard brass fishing uh, spin, uh, spinners because this one here turns much freer. And I've got a number uh, 10 split ring on the bottom here. So we're going to just take this here at our hanger, come around to the split area right here, and just open it up. And we're going to feed it onto the, the loop on the cotter pin, just like that. And then we can take our pliers and we can just walk it around. Just like that. And there we go. So we're all ready to take it out. We'll, uh, we'll hang it up. Like I say, if there's not any breeze, uh, I'll put it on a mechanical spinner and we'll get a couple pictures of it. And the project will be done. So hopefully you've been following along. And... Uh, We'll see you on the next video. All right, we got the spinner out in the patio area there now. So we got it all done. So real happy with it. Hope you followed along with the project. It's been fun to make and uh, give it a try. Hopefully you'll subscribe to my channel. And if you have any comments, send them to me. I'll give you a reply on them. So we'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.